Hey, what's up guys, Steve here. And today we're gonna take a look at the 50 highest selling 1987 through 1992 sports cards from the Fanatics Weekly Auction that ended on October 20th. And we'll kick today's list off at number 50 with this 1992 Fleer All-Stars Michael Jordan, card number six. This was a PSA 8 that received 20 bids and it sold for $72 even. Up next at number 49 is this 1992 Don Russ Elite Will Clark, card number 11. This was a PSA 9 that received 8 bids and it sold for $74.40. We're sticking to baseball at number 48 with this 1989 Sports Illustrated for Kids 1 Don Mattingly, card number 37. This was a BGS 9 that received 19 bids and it also sold for $74.40. Coming in at number 47 is this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan sticker Sticker number two. This was a PSA 7 that received 16 bids and it sold for $76.80. Up next at number 46 is this 1991 Don Russ Nolan Ryan, card number 89. This was a PSA 10 that received 16 bids and it sold for $76.80. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 45 with this 1989 Upper Deck Nolan Ryan, card number 145. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids and it sold for $76.80. Coming in at number 44 is this 1987 Topps Reggie Jackson Auto, card number 300. This was a PSA 8 with a 10 grade for the auto that received 14 bids, and it also sold for $76.80. We're back to basketball at number 43 with this 1989 Collegiate Collections North Carolina Gold Michael Jordan, card number 15. This Jordan was in a PSA 9 that received 13 bids, and it sold for $91.20. Up next at number 42 is this 1988 Fleer Dennis Rodman rookie, card number 43. This rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 25 bids and it sold for just over $100. Coming in at number 41 is this 1992 Ultra Michael Jordan, card number 27. This Jordan was in a PSA 10 that received 15 bids and it sold for $103.20. We're back to baseball to kick off the top 40 with this 1992 Bowman Trevor Hoffman Rookie Auto, card number 11. This was a PSA 9 with a 10 grade for the auto that received 15 bids and it also sold for $103.20. The Kid makes his first appearance on today's list at number 39 with this 1989 Topps traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, card number 41T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 14 bids and it sold for $105.60. We're back to basketball at number 38 with this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Jeff Hornacek, card number nine. This insert was in a PSA 10 that received 12 bids and it sold for $138.
Coming in at number 37 is this 1989 Fleer Scotty Pippen, card number 23. This was a PSA 10 that received 18 bids, and it also sold for $138. We're sticking to basketball at number 36 with this 1989 Collegiate Collections North Carolina Gold Michael Jordan, card number 13. This was a PSA 9 that received 10 bids and it sold for $138. Take that back to back appearances at number 35 with this 1988 Fleer Michael Jordan sticker, sticker number seven. This was a PSA 8 with a ST qualifier that received 25 bids, and it sold for $144. You get our first hockey card to make today's list at number 34, with this 1990 OPC Premier Yamer Yager rookie, card number 50. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it sold for $156. Coming in at number 33 is this 1989 Collegiate Collections North Carolina Gold Michael Jordan, card number 18. This was a PSA 9 that received 18 bids, and it sold for $168. We're back to baseball at number 32 with this 1987 Topps Barry Bonds rookie, card number 320. This was a PSA 10 that received 10 bids and it also sold for $168. Coming in at number 31 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Carl Malone, card number 17. This was a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $174. Make that three straight newcomers to the list to kick off the top 30 with this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Clyde Drexler, card number four. This was a PSA 10 that received 18 bids, and it sold for $204. Up next at number 29 is this 1988 Fleer Scotty Pippen rookie, card number 20. This rookie was in a SGC 9.5 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $210. Coming in at number 28 is this 1992 Bowman Mariano Rivera rookie, card number 302. This was a BGS 9.5 that received 23 bids, and it also sold for $210. We get our first football card to make today's list at number 27, with this 1989 score Michael Irvin rookie, Card number 18. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 19 bids and it sold for $222. Up next at number 26 is this 1989 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. rookie, card number one. This star rookie was in a PSA 9 that received 16 bids and it sold for $228. Coming in at number 25 is this 1987 Fleer Michael Jordan, card number 59. This was an SGC 7.5 that received 22 bids, and it sold for $234. Up next at number 24 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Hakeem Olajuwon, 
Card number 16. This was a PSA 10 that received 21 bids and it sold for $252. Coming in at number 23 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team John Stockton, card number 11. This was a PSA 10 that received 10 bids, and it sold for $276. Take that three straight Beam Team inserts at number 22 with Sean Kemp's 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team with card number 3. This was a PSA 10 that received 22 bids, and it sold for $288. Coming in at number 21 is this 1989 Donruss Baseball's Best Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, card number 192. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $300 even. And kicking off the top 20 of today's list is this 1992 Topps Archives Michael Jordan, card number 52. This Jordan was in a PSA 10 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $312. Up next at number 19 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Members Only Shaquille O'Neal Rookie, Card number 21. This was a PSA 8 that received 9 bids, and it sold for $312. Coming in at number 18 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Tim Hardaway, card number 14. This was a PSA 10 that received 18 bids, and it sold for $324. Up next at number 17 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Mark Price, card number 13. This was a PSA 10 that received 12 bids, and it also sold for $324. Make that four straight newcomers to the list at number 16 with this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Charles Barkley, card number 15. This insert was in a PSA 10 that received 21 bids and it sold for $372. Coming in at number 15, is this 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Rookie, card number SP1. This Jordan was in a PSA 10 that received 15 bids, and it also sold for $372. Up next at number 14, is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Chris Mullen, card number 6. This was a PSA 10 that received 13 bids, and it sold for $384. Coming in at number 13 is this 1992 Fleer Total D Michael Jordan, card number 5. This was a PSA 9 that received 21 bids, and it sold for $408. Make that back-to-back -back appearances at number 12 with this 1990 Fleer All-Stars Michael Jordan, card number 5. This was a PSA 10 that received 13 bids, and it also sold for just over $400. Coming in at number 11 is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Members Only Scotty Pippen, Card number 5. This was a PSA 10 that received 15 bids, and it sold for $432.
And we welcome a newcomer to the list to kick off the top 10 with this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Dominique Wilkins, card number two. This was a PSA 10 that received 16 bids and it sold for $432. Up next at number nine is this 1991 Impel U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame coach Herb Brooks, card number 72. This was a PSA 10 that received 21 bids and it sold for $456. Coming in at number eight is this 1989 Fleer Bill Ripken FF Air Rookie, Card number 616. This was a PSA 10 that received 24 bids and it sold for just short of $500. Up next at number 7 is this 1988 Panini Super Sport Italian Michael Jordan, card number 141. This Jordan was in a PSA 8 that received 17 bids and it sold for $516. And we welcome another newcomer to the list at number six with this 1991 Topps Traded Tiffany Jeff Bagwell rookie, card number 4T. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 39 bids and it sold for $528. All right, guys, and before we get to the top five, I did pull aside six quick bonus cards to share with you today. We'll start off with this 1990 Fleer Update Emmett Smith rookie, card number U40. This rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 16 bids, and it sold for $72 even. Up next is this 1989 score Troy Aikman rookie, card number 270. This rookie was in a SGC 9.5 that received 17 bids and it sold for just over $50. For another player that missed the top 50, I found this 1987 Fleer Glossy George Brett, card number 366. This was a PSA 10 that received 11 bids and it sold for $45.60. For a bonus hockey card, I found this 1987 OPG Wayne Gretzky, card number 53. This was an SGC 8 that received 14 bids, and it sold for just short of $40. For another baseball bonus card, I found this 1989 Fleer Randy Johnson rookie, card number 381. This ad blacked out variation of his rookie was in a PSA 10 that received 8 bids and it sold for $36 even. Alright and for our 6th and final bonus card I wanted to find at least one of the classic Junk Wax era Jordans that missed the top 50 and I ran across this 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan card number 26. This was a PSA 9 that received 10 bids and it sold for $31.20. And kicking off the top five of today's list is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Dennis Rodman, card number 19. This was a PSA 10 that received 36 bids and it sold for $552. Up next at number four is this 1987 OPG Barry Bonds rookie, card number 320. This rookie was in a BGS 9.5 that received 17 bids and it sold for $1,110. And we welcome a newcomer to the list at number three with this 1989 score Barry Sanders rookie, Card number 257. This was a PSA 10 that received 27 bids and it sold for $1,230. 
Coming in at number two is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Michael Jordan, card number one. This Jordan was in a BGS 9.5 that received 25 bids, and it sold for $2,160. And topping off today's list at number one is this 1992 Stadium Club Beam Team Shaquille O'Neal Rookie, card number 21. This rookie insert was in a PSA 10 that received 34 bids, and it sold for just short of five grand. Thanks for joining me today, guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.